Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Semi Original Guy, aka Mr. Cannon from Advanced Wars and Bioweb, bringing you another live league game of the day. Today, we are on a Love Supreme, and we have a Jake Mir today. So, a Love Supreme is a standard matchup uh, with triple base, and that's about it. So, triple base and an airport. Yeah, that's what we have on a Love Supreme, folks. There is nothing else to this. Now, there is actually a high funds version of this matchup, but this is the standard matchup because we have standard player and Cassidy failing today as our combatants, and they both decided to go with Jake, Jakey boy, the old Jakester. That's who we got today. Now, folks, as we know, Jake as a day to day ability will get plus 10% firepower on planes, his normal co power will give his indirect units plus one range of firepower and further increase his firepower on planes and the super co-power the block rock will increase that range by one and also give his units his direct vehicle units or maybe just vehicle units uh plus two movement as well as a firepower bonus on planes so he's the plane guy He's a plain old standard plain lover who just actually also loves beats because Jake loves his beats and he loves really cringy lines. Um, this ends up becoming some sort of an HQ race. So let's see what happened on a Love Supreme today. Alrighty folks, so day one, two, and three, we have our standard infantry builds because you gotta get the infantry on the field folks. It is the number one priority in Advanced Wars by web. Get the infantry on the field. Now, I do need to change something here. So, standard player, we are going to be facing you the other direction. And I'm also changing it from Azure to Orange Star because of reasons. That's all. Alrighty, folks. So, nobody is actually going for their airport yet. Now, you don't necessarily need to capture that airport right away. Uh, you do want to get it eventually. In the high funds version, um, it's more advisable to probably get the airport a little bit quicker, but in the standard, you don't need it right away. Now, I think Cassidy is doing, like, the right motion here, where you send the 4th infantry over to capture the airport. 3rd infantry goes over here, and then you get the forward property, because it is actually a little bit more difficult to get that forward property. Now, this property and this property right here, on opposite sides, those are the difficult properties to get and hold on to, because by the time... You get to the property, your opponent is already there. Now, there's a couple strategies that you can do in order to sort of try to acquire the property. You can go artillery on this position here, which actually blocks the property and covers it completely. So, if you do begin the cap and somebody goes to try to interrupt you, well, you just blast them away with an artillery, folks. A classy old artillery right there, a distinguished artillery unit on a plane, which is where Jake wants him to be. Alrighty, folks, let's carry on here. We got a recon build. Um, a recon build. A reconnaissance unit. How much money did we have? We had enough for a tank or an artillery. The recon is a little bit interesting, <laughs> to say the least. I'm not really sure how effective a recon is going to be over here. But, I mean, one thing that this recon could do is if you zip them all the way over here and get them to the center, it can stop all your opponent's uh, caps in the center. Um, however, I probably would have rather preferred to see an artillery or maybe even a tank come out of that property. Alright, so we got mech and we got tank and we got infantry over here from standard player. Now, mech is pretty good on this side because of the mountains. You know, you can stick them on the mountain and ward away any potential threat that's coming. Like, you know, if they come with a tank or if they bring the artillery too close. You got a mech there that can do some damage, but they're also very slow. So, that's, uh, that's a thing too. Alright, so Cassidy has acquired the airport and all the backland properties so far on this side. They are sending some infantry over here to start capping these properties very slowly. Uh, now, standard player, a little bit slow on the grab of this airport right here. So, we'll have to acquire that guy kind of slowly here. But, Cassidy is being pretty passive at the moment. Not actually really pushing in too fast. So, it looks like standard player is going to have the time necessary to capture that property. 
and spots a little cheeky hit with the artillery and manages to steal a property. Now we are going to begin a capture on that property. Sadly, the recon is in position to actually interrupt this uh, due to this little fancy artillery not being in position to interrupt. Now, recon can interrupt. There is a potential for the recon to take one counter damage here, possibly do about five damage to that infantry if we're lucky. Um, in which case that's going to be the end of what it's going to be able to do because artillery will move in at that point. Recon, if it decides to continue the attack, it will perish the next turn. And if standard player really wants the property, he could just join cap afterwards. So that may be a possibility. We might be seeing a join cap here pretty soon. Not sure, but we do have double artillery. So Jake is really, really taking advantage of that artillery. Now, if you are going to be playing Jake, artillery are super important because one of the main staples of Jake is getting that extra um, range on your artillery. So you might as well be using the artillery. If you're not using the artillery, then you're not really utilizing Jake as well as he could be utilized. So moral of the story, artillery good, artillery good and live, build some artillery. All right. So that's what we got going on here today. Um, yeah. Lots and lots of indirects. All right, so standard player moving a little bit further here. We are about to capture this property, capture this property, and go for this property right afterwards. Um, however, standard player has arrived in the center of the map here, and it is looking pretty good for the capture here. I do believe we're going to be able to get that guy. Liggity split, folks. Liggity split. Now, did I readjust this properly? Yes. Okay, cool. Carrying on. Hmm. What are our options at the moment? So standard player, uh, we can't attack the recon, unfortunately, because tank reinforcement does reach there and it's not really worth getting first struck, I don't think. So I don't think we're going to be seeing an attack on the recon there. Um, we might see an interrupt on the property over here. That is a possibility. However, that will result in the loss of an infantry. Very interesting setup over here. Okay, so standard player not playing passively at all and is just getting in there. So, not too bad of an attack. Uh, there is some possibilities here. We could see... Hmm, what could we see? Um, there's like an infantry, we might, okay, this could be a possibility, I'm not sure what the role is, but we have an infantry and a recon strike here, could potentially take this guy out, if that guy does take get taken out, we have a 7 HP mech strike on the artillery, and then a follow up tank strike over here with a tank build, could actually be fairly devastating to standard player. Uh just it all depends on if that's going to be what's going to happen here so we don't go for the interrupt here like i said that would result in the loss of an infantry no matter what so not necessarily the best thing to go for that um, especially on your weak side you want to be keeping the unit count as high as possible on your weak side okay yeah so we do go for that clear okay very nice so that is going to result in an attack right here and then an attack right here without a doubt yeah, so we got the old double hit over there. So that's a pretty hefty strike to standard player. Pretty hefty indeed. Cassidy moving in a little bit further with these units right there. So not looking too shabby. Builds the anti-air. So both players now have an anti-air on the field. Super important to get an anti-air on the field at least by day 9 or 10. Because those air units are going to be getting out here very, very quickly. Um, so you, yeah, you got to get that guy on the field without a doubt. Um, let's see. That's it's not that bad of a position, I suppose. Although it does look like we have clear potential here. I think uh, full tank plus um, mech might clear this unit, and if it does then we lose a full HP artillery, which kind of is not great, but it's like, it's just kind of not great. <laughs> That's about it. Um, let's see what happens though. 
Let's see. So we got mech. Got recon. And we got tank moving in. So mech, recon, tank. All move in to take that engagement. Okay, so it's not too shabby. Bring another tank up. Get the old double shot on the infantry right here. Uh, Cassidy attempting to bring the infantry into the center here now, but because standard player already acquired a city, it is a little bit risky because she could go for the capture, could be interrupted during the capture. Um, but she has tank support right here, so there might be a world. There could be a world where the tank actually swings into the middle and attacks this infantry. Um, and if that is the case, then that would be quite unfortunate for standard player to lose that infantry. Uh, that would gain control of the center. Um, with the position at the moment, though, Cassidy could easily take control of the center. Um, if we just give up these properties over here, we could swing everything over here block this off and then we would be able to swing to the center here so this arm would be able to shift whichever direction it wants as well um whether or not that's a good tactic or not you know it's it's debatable but i do know that center control is very very important on this map for sure one two three four five six one two three four five six one one two three four five six one, one, two, three, four, five, six. We should have attacked that infantry, I think, like, without a doubt. I mean, you can move it here, which is fine, but we could have attacked the infantry. I think that could have been cool. Would have been okay. Do a little bit of extra damage there. Stop the threat of the infantry in the center. Because this tank can't reach this tile right here. So, I mean, that's basically a free shot. And the tank is still in uh, range to support these units over here. Plus, you have a tank right here that supports these units as well. And this tank can't actually reach any direction. So, I'd say that's a pretty free hit. Probably should have taken it. Could we have taken it, though? Let me see. I feel like we had... We, yeah, we had an attack. Yeah, I think we should have taken that. Okay. Anyways, just lively things, folks. Um, you have to think very, very quick and lively. Okay, recon taken out by the anti-air. Very cool. Very nice. Mech taken out. Oh, and the tank is surrounded, and it is trapped, and it is doomed. Doomed. Oh, God, he's so doomed. He's not going to be able to get out of there at all. There is absolutely no chance of survival for this old tank. Now, we could bring in this tank, and maybe there's a possibility that we could get a one-shot on this uh, infantry right here with a 10% power bonus from the plane, but... I do not think that is actually a 90% roll, and if we did that, well, we just open ourselves up for a tank strike right here. And if we lose this tank, um, then our HQ is incredibly vulnerable on this side too. So you want to be very, very careful when you're pushing out the uh, units out of the one side base, um, because like I said, you are eventually going to be overrun on this side, and you do not want to be um, caught with your pants down, so to speak. <laughs> you know, so it can be it can be pretty bad. It can be pretty bad. We actually move an art or a tank into artillery range with right here, which is kind of uh I'm not like super feeling that right here because like we lose a tank and tanks are pretty cool. <laughs> you don't really want to be losing tanks, but I mean with this push right here, it's looking pretty strong. Um Cassidy we even if we lose the tank we're still up a tank like temporarily and this guy is getting in position to attack the airport we're not quite in position yet hmm it might okay it could potentially be more valuable to actually attack the anti-air and then finish the anti-air with this low HP tank and then actually build a battle copter to sort of ward off the rest of these guys over here That is a possibility for sure uh, Whether or not we are gonna be seeing that play that is another story indeed Casty has built the first battle copter of the game here So this battle copter is gonna be coming down here and causing all sorts of devastation on this front However, once again, Sander player does have that anti-air so the copter is gonna have to play chicken with the anti-air uh, maybe we will be able to see some sort of a good hit here. Not sure, but it looks like standard player has actually gone for that attack on the art or anti-air. Sort of what I was thinking. I think that's probably the best move 
at the moment for him to do. So, yeah, I definitely wholeheartedly agree with that play at the moment. Brings the rest of his units in, but doesn't actually really push in too far. We're going to go and try to flip a property over here, which is good because we do bait in either a tank strike, a copter strike, or an infantry strike. Whichever one actually decides to go in for the attack, we are going to be able to counter it no matter what. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if there is a there's a possibility that maybe Cassie could get the old super co power at the moment from Jake, and if she does, uh, we are able to actually hit the anti air with this tank, and that can be pretty good, pretty good indeed. Because I think that um, copter from plane plus infantry might be able to clear that infantry, but We'll see. I don't know if they are going to be going for that attack or not. And we do need to build another anti-air. Oh, so we don't go for that attack. Ooh, interesting. We don't have block rock yet, so it's definitely not worth it to go for the attack just yet. Now, standard player does have block rock at the moment, and Cassie made a big push to actually acquire this HQ at the moment. However, this is... A minorly vulnerable position because we do have that super co power at the moment. And that super co power can slap in the right hands, folks. So let's see what standard player decides to do. So we do the block rock. We're going to be going for the plus two movement and the artillery bonus. So it doesn't actually show the range here, but they do have increased range at the moment. Um. So yeah. Let's let's see what standard player decides to do with this big old strike. Oh, takes it all the way down to two. Takes it down to five. Covers the HQ. Goes in for another attack. Take it down to two. Continue capping the properties down south. And going for a threatening double flip at the moment here, which is it's highly aggressive, but this is a phenomenal play because what that is gonna do is it's actually gonna force Cassidy to use two units to interrupt these attacks here um, and if they do they get countered and they lose two units <laughs> in response to that depending on what the rest of their play is but it's a brilliant move in my opinion here because worst case scenario you get the property so I mean if they do go and attack you can counter them interesting so this is actually even better too, because now standard player has given Cassidy the ultimatum of, okay, you are going to have to destroy this. Oh, wait, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could loop around an attack, or we could attack this and then go in with two and interrupt. Um, I guess we could potentially just go in with the five HP infantry and interrupt this one, but that would still guarantee this cap unless we're going to actually put another vehicle over here and attack this guy uh but standard player did attack these two units over here which is pretty big and now they're going to be making a play for the hq themselves which is pretty spooky pretty spooky indeed and this was a very good counter over here to the push that just happened that actually puts standard player ahead over here because we do have a nine and two two and we have a nine eight and a full hp over here and a copter which is currently uncontested so we are going to see the block rock from Cassidy. Let's see what they managed to do with it. Ooh, you know what? Scratch that. We are about to see a copter just get sniped out of existence here. There goes. Oh, boy. He got so much done. We attacked one unit. Yeah, that was pretty good. But you know what? In all honesty, the copter was necessary. I don't know if attacking that unit was good because of the block rock right there. But, you know, it is what it is, folks. And what it is, is Advanced Wars. Live League. And these things happen sometimes. This is a beautiful strategy also over here. So if you do manage to push in far enough, you cover this tile here and it blocks the basin. So they're not actually able to reinforce the HQ. Now, if Cassidy had a few more units here, if we had just enough units to clear, let's say, this tank right here, then that would be great. Because if we were able to occupy that tile, that would allow a full capture of the HQ next turn. Which would be great. Um, we're going to have to put an infantry right here though. On the mountain. Because the, one of these tanks is definitely going to be sitting on the HQ here. 
I don't think it even really matters which one. Um, well, obviously it does to an extent. You probably want to put the 8 HP one there because it's, uh, it's going to be healed up next turn. There's not actually anything that can two hit it at the moment, so I think it's fine. 8 HP on the HQ is probably the best course of action. Uh, double copters over here from Cassidy on the left hand side of the map now. Ooh. You know what? It was a nice block rock. It was a good block rock. I'm not going to say it's not. Not going to say it's not. It was a beautiful block rock. And we're threatening a double cap over here as well. So, yeah, Cassidy did decide to go in and interrupt these properties right here. But instead of actually sitting here, Standard Player did something different. Now, instead of putting his forces here to actually go for the counterattack, what he did was it looks like he actually baited these units in over here and it put the majority of his units over here. Now, if you guys see what I'm seeing, I see a potential to block these guys in, destroy this tank, and then put units in position to actually start capping that HQ. Now, it's going to be a little bit difficult with the addition of the Battlecopters on the field, but we have one anti-air. So as long as our anti-air stays in play, the likelihood of this HQ cap is pretty high i'm not gonna lie it's pretty high we might be able to do it we might be able to do it but cassidy is coming dangerously close to capping this hq too so battlecopters are moving in tanks are moving in properties are getting flipped oh my god cassidy twenty-two thousand properties at the moment looking very good looking very good indeed destroys the infantry in the center brings the battlecopter over that is a dangerous dangerous tile for that battlecopter to be on dangerous dangerous town now i'll tell you why it's a dangerous town because if we attack right here right we have anti-air able to move right here we have artillery to clear this we have infantry to start cap on the hq this is a c tile by the way so you can't actually move an infantry onto that tile you can move an infantry onto this tile but the only two land tiles that you can attack from are vehicle right here infantry right here and two air units right here um nice i think this is an okay build you know this is fine because if we do get the co-power we actually do have the range to cover the hq if we base block ourselves but it looks like we're going to be abandoning the hq over here which is kind of unfortunate kind of unfortunate but if we continue to fight in here we don't really have the tank support to take it out where standard player at the moment has potential over here for sure so let's see what they're able to do yeah so we clear the yeah so we clear it okay interesting interesting indeed very interesting okay i mean at this point we're going for all or nothing right so the capture on this property literally does not matter okay the only thing that matters is getting that hq and this it could potentially go through very likely could potentially go through. Mm, I think the only thing that's going to stop this from going through is if Cassidy manages to get a co-power. Because we have no attacks here. There's no two hit on this. Well, there is because we have the battle copter. But if we got through this, then we still have to get through this. And we can't get through that. We could potentially maybe... No, we can't. We can't because we're blocked in. Oh, this is a dicey flipping situation i think literally the only move that Casty has at the moment is to yeet get that co-power and blast this guy away i think that's the only option at the moment and we got the co-power Are we going to pop the co-power? Yeah, we got to. We have to pop the beat down. That's the only only thing we can do. The only play that we have is to pop the beat down and get the additional range. Taking this guy all the way down to three. Um, attacking the anti-air right here is super big too. Super big. Okay. So standard player. Uh, 10 minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. How are we going to be able to acquire this HQ? That's the question. Now, I think there's definitely a way to acquire it. Now, okay, so beat down. That's perfect. 
See, this is honestly okay. This is number one. This is number one priority when you're trying to capture <laughs> an HQ is get extra defense. If you have a power to pop and you think you can get it, pop that power because you're going to need that defense. With the power bonus, you have 150% defense on an HQ right here, right? So, hands down, got to get it done. So, this is sitting at seven now. Um, yeah. Just don't even worry about this cap. Just go and join cap, right? Yeah, we're going to join cap it. We're going to attack the rocket. And we are going to block in the tank again. We're going to attack the... Holy macaroni and cheese. Oh, yeah, I got a hit by the artillery. Okay. I thought that was a one-shot for a second. I was like, when the heck did they buff Jake? <laughs> like, holy moly. Yeah, that was a good, good hit. Um, yeah, and at this, at this point, there is... There's... There's no way to stop that HQ cap. Uh, a 5 HP battle copter versus 150% defense on an HQ. That's going to do like maybe two damage, like maximum. So yeah, we do one damage. And that is a G, a G right there. That is GG. We capture the comp or capture the HQ and Cassie Fiddling was eliminated by HQ capture on a Love Supreme. What a match. What a match indeed, folks. That was a crazy one. Um, like I said, I love Supreme. It tends to go very HQ capture. You know, it's basically just an HQ rush. Um, now, it's very unfortunate because I think Cassidy had a lot of potential here, but the we didn't have enough tank support over here. Like, if we had, like, I mean, even if we had, like, more artillery or something, right? Um, it is possible that we could have managed to get this, but this was a little bit adventurous, you know, especially with the super co power along the way. Like, the attack on these two tanks is far too big, and we have nothing really else to back it up with, right? So, yeah, that's very unfortunate. But also, on standard player's turn here, so like I was saying, he was going for... Like, you go for this flip over here, which is fantastic, but... Um, like I said, he's got he's got two options. He can sit these units here, and we can go for an attack where we do a lot of damage on the units, or we can go for the gamble for the HQ. So he ended up going for the gamble on the HQ and brought these units over here, which is fantastic. Um, I think what Cassidy should have done is just let these properties go. Like, 100% just let them go because we need all our forces over here to block this. Like, you can reacquire these properties, like, potentially later on. But as long as you don't lose your um, your airport, like, it's perfectly fine. I mean, you can lose those properties and you can be behind on funds for a couple turns. But if you lose your HQ, well, that's just game, right? So, all in all, very well fought by both players. That was a fantastic match hopefully you guys enjoyed that one today i definitely had fun watching it so if you did like it consider leaving a like a comment or subscribe i will see you guys on the next one so take care of yourselves and bye bye for now